Hi, I'm Saki, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cod piece out of a plush toy. At some point in everyone's lives, they find themselves in need of a cod piece, whether that's to cosplay their favorite character from an obscure foreign film, to get married in Vegas, or to take your favorite childhood companion with you wherever you go. One day you're going to find yourself in need of the knowledge of how to make one of these and the internet ain't exactly chock full of tutorials. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. So cod pieces are a really great fashion accessory because it's all about self-expression. You can have any kind and any size and shape of cod piece that you want. So in this tutorial, I'll show you both male and female versions because everyone should be able to wear a cod piece. So small disclaimer, this tutorial is for polyester pals. Um, I don't think it works on actual taxidermied animals. So if you intend to turn your pet into one of these, um, you're going to need to find a different tutorial. Anyway, the first step is to trace out the pattern piece onto foam and cut it out. Then use contact cement to glue the darts together. If you haven't used contact cement before, watch my other tutorial. We're going to use it again later, so now is a great time to figure out how it works. I'll put the link in the video description. If you're doing the male shape, cut two pieces from foam and glue them together down the middle. It should look something like this. At this point, you should check if it fits. Every body is shaped differently, so modify as necessary and save your new template for future use. Side note, I have these pattern pieces for both the, the male and female templates available on my Etsy. Um, they're not one size fits all, so you can just kind of try to figure it out yourself. Here, take a screenshot of this. That's the basic shape. And then go like resize it in MS Paint until uh, it fits you. Just try it out on foam first instead of your actual material so that it's cheaper in case you mess up. If you don't want to download the pattern pieces from my Etsy, but you still want to like support me and just give me $2, you can, you can Venmo me. My Venmo link is in the video description. Now we'll put the foam aside and work on the fabric component. Trace the same pattern piece onto your fabric. In this case, I'm using vegan holographic leather. Then add about half an inch around the whole thing and cut that out. Then stitch the darts. Do not cut and glue them like you did with the foam. It should look like this when you're done. If you're doing the male version, sew the two halves together and trim the seam allowance really close to the seam so there's not a lot of bulky fabric in the back. This next step is optional, but it'll make the end product so much nicer. You're basically going to cut notches all the way around in the seam allowance so that it'll lie flat when you attach it to the base. You can also trim down the bulky dart, just be careful not to trim past the seam allowance. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, the greater beheading of the lesser flamingo. <laughs> cut around the base of the neck of your plushie, assuming that you want to feature its head on your codpiece. Um, in any case, whatever body part you're mounting, cut about one inch away from the base of it. Here I'm using the neck seam as a guide and I'm trimming an inch away from it. <laughs> okay, next grab some scrap paper and trace the approximate shape of the base onto it and then cut that out. Then use that paper template to cut out a piece of any fabric you have on hand. You're not going to see this piece in the final product, so it really does not matter what it looks like. I chose this one because it is the color of flamingo guts, and only I'll know that it's on the inside. It'll be an insides joke. <laughs> okay, anyway, the purpose of this fabric is to contain the polyfill. Okay, that looks like a severed limb. Right, anyway, pin that fabric to the base of the neck and then sew along that base seam with about an inch of seam allowance. In this case, I'm just going to retrace that seam line that's already there. It should look like this when you're done. Next, we're going to go in and clean it up by trimming back that scrap piece of fabric. Be careful to trim only the inside fabric because you'll need the extra outside fabric to make a rolled hem, which I somehow forgot to record. So I'm going to tell you now, just hem the outer fabric. I, I think you'll see what I mean in the next step. It's like kind of, it's pretty obvious. Okay, it's finally time to attach the head to the fabric base. So pin it on, making sure that it's centered. And if you're using leather or vegan leather, try not to poke holes in places that won't be covered by the plushie because they're just gonna stay visible. They're gonna be visible when you t remove the pins. Cause unlike real skin attached to real living animals, dead skin does not scab up and heal. It just scars. Then you're gonna sew it on really slowly matching up the stitch line with the rolled hem that you made earlier. 
It can be pretty tricky getting around the bulk, the bulky plushie, but uh, remember that you can just squeeze and compress it to get it out of the way of the needle. Next, we'll make straps out of a scrap piece of leather. Cut them to fit whatever O-rings you have. You want a couple of them, so make sure they're the same width. There's also a third ring that's smaller, which will require a skinnier strap. Sew the straps onto the O-rings, and then sew those onto the cod piece uh, with an X shape with a box around it. Just see the diagram. You're going to be attaching two large rings on the sides of the base and a third smaller ring on the bottom. Ta-da! Okay, put that aside for a minute. Now we're going to reinforce the foam base with some thermoplastic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube on where to get it and how to use it. I'm using black warbler, but you can use whatever you have on hand. It does not even have to be thermoplastic. It could be paper mache or cardboard with duct tape, as long as it's rigid and in the right shape. Anyway, I'm using warbler and I am attaching it to the inside of the codpiece cup. But honestly, it doesn't really matter if it's on the inside or the outside, as long as you stiffen the foam. And when you're done, trim the extra material flush with the foam. There's no need to wrap it over the edge or anything. Oh, and one more thing. Also, just so you're not confused, I'm showing the male version of the codpiece, which I made with red foam. In the next part of the video, I'm showing the female version, which I made out of black foam. Okay, going back to our hunting trophy, we are going to use contact cement to attach it to the base. Uh, only apply it to the line where you cut the notches. We're going to glue the notches in, in a separate step. Make sure your contact cement is not super stale like mine was. You should be able to spread it pretty easily. If not, get a new bottle. <laughs> After the glue dries, carefully attach it starting at the center line. After you match the top center, match up the bottom, stretching the fabric slightly if necessary. And then last, do the sides. You only get one chance to do this correctly, so take your time. Once everything is lined up, press it firmly all over. Don't forget to squeeze the middle as well. And now moving on to the tabs, apply contact cement to the tabs, as well as a half inch border around the edge of the base. After that's dry, just fold the flaps in. At this point, you can choose to add a fabric cover to give the inside a more finished look, especially if the texture from the tabs is itchy for you. You can use contact cement again for this, or a hot glue gun, or even double-sided tape if you want an easily removable, washable fabric lining. The last step is to add an elastic or a belt. Here I'm using elastic, but I ended up switching it out for vegan leather because my cod piece was too bulky to be supported by elastic alone. The basic construction is to connect both side rings to the bottom ring and then to connect the two side rings to each other. If you're still confused, it's basically the same as a jock strap. Time to try it on. And if it fits, then you're ready to take your cod piece out into the real world. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. For more tutorials like this one and other tutorials not like this one, subscribe to my channel.